know, I've always been a fan of the trend spotting industry and the act of looking for new trends. So I thought it'd be fun to poke into the history of trend spotting as an activity. So here's a brief overview of how it's evolved over the past, let's say, century or two. Now we all know that people have been looking into the future for as long as people have been doing pretty much anything. But it wasn't until the 1800s that people began to discuss trends in the sense that we know them now. Now this should make sense because this was really the dawn of the Industrial Revolution and for the first time ever there were industries that really depended on the demand for certain materials, for example fabrics. So it became important to know which fabrics were coming into high demand so that you could produce more and therefore profit from that change. Now the concept of trends stayed pretty constant from the mid to early 1800s through the 1900s. In fact, the trends didn't really break out of the scientific and commercial worlds until the 1960s. It was at this point that the word trend began to be used to describe societal changes and popular movements. The word trendspotter didn't actually make its debut until 1960. And the word trendy didn't make its debut until two years later. But okay, so the concept of trends is fairly straightforward, but what about the trend spotting industry? Well, the first real trend spotters existed within the fashion industry, and they first emerged around the 1920s. Now, this was a period of unprecedented change in fashion. I mean, we had flapper girls, people were cutting their hair. Women, especially, were doing things with clothing and fashion that had never really been done before. What's more, at that point, the fashion industry had so much more ready-to-wear clothing on the market than ever before. I mean, think about it. For centuries before this point, people had clothes custom-made for them or made their own, and suddenly we have this new fashion industry in which large companies would be mass-producing clothing. So it only makes sense that people would start to look for trends on that front. But trend spotting pretty much just did stay with fashion for several decades after it emerged. It actually wasn't until after World War II that we began to see trend spotting take place outside the fashion industry. The interesting thing is that World War II's war efforts really did contribute to the trend spotting industry. In fact, uh, consultancies that were designed for long range military planning ended up producing people that after the war entered the market as uh, self-styled trend forecasters and futurists, and they developed models and other plans and methodologies that they then applied to the commercial and business world. In the 1970s, trend spotting started to make its way into the business world, uh, to a certain extent using these new military methods. Uh, scenario planning first made its debut in the oil industry and quickly spread to the rest of the business world after that because it turned out to be really helpful. And then, 20 years later, in the 1990s, trend spotting began to get a little bit more of a consumer focus. And throughout that decade, trend spotting really moved into advertising and marketing and branding. In the late 90s and early thousands with the tech boom, Trend spotting then made its way into the tech industry as people got really excited about new technologies and all this different hardware and software that was emerging. And now trend spotting pretty much encompasses all of those things. And in many ways, it seems to have become this full circle thing that's not just technology, it's not just consumer focus, it's, it's everything. It's, it's all about predicting new ways of life and seeing things and using things that combines science and design, psychology and resource allocation. It's become a very interesting and very complex industry. There you have it. That's really the gist of how the trend spotting industry has evolved over the past two or so centuries. And who knows where it's gonna go in the future. It's quite an exciting thing to speculate about. So I hope you found this brief history to be informative and that you are inspired to do a little bit of trend spotting of your own.